in her culture values marriage and all that stuff and has some shame to her that you can send back to her mama or her dad and say, hey, man, this, your, your daughter ain't doing what she's supposed to do. It's a business, man. This miseducation of, 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 of black women to black men is done on purpose because at the end of the day, it's a choice. The information is here. I think that's why most black men look at it and go, ah, eh, like y'all were talking about with the soft girl era or Dr. Tia San Johnson. You know, BGS were talking about it. Eh, it's just a finesse, man. It is what it is. These chicks ain't genuine. When you put a little bit of pressure on them, they're going to revert back to the old. So I think and at that, what that girl did in the video, <laughs> she went right back to home. So that, that's what I said. We I talked about a the soft girl. <laughs> Some woman with her soft girl plea. <laughs> plea, yeah. yeah. Now nah, I said, but, but I said, now look here. Now just imagine we finna walk into a harsh economic crisis, and you could even keep yourself together in the video. What are we gonna do if rent can't get paid or or inflation go to goddamn thirty percent? <laughs> you gonna be looking to jump ship anyways? Yeah. Well, you know, but yeah, I just want to hop on and say that, man. This this whole gr um, women rushing and being heroes. Like I told, I was talking to this one lady. And I'll tell you, that's not hop on. She said, "Why are you so?" Why she goes, "Why are you so?" She goes, "Mike, why are you such a dick?" I said, "I'm a dick because in good times is the only time you can compete with me." See, I'm good in good times. You're good in good times. But when bad times happen, I'm still good. When bad times happen. You go bad. Always. Because it's an order to this world. It's an order to this planet. This United States of America is out of order with nature. Out of order with the universe, God, whatever the heck you want to believe in. It's out of order. And it's going to correct itself. At the end of the day. The hero's journey for women, there ain't one. Your hero's journey is to go find the best man for you and to support that man. That's your hero's journey. Period. All right, brother. All right, we'll take it, David. Appreciate you very much, brother. Appreciate you very much. All right. <clears throat> we got my main man, Wade, here. Wade, you got the mic, my brother. How you doing? Doing good, doing good. How you doing today? Uh, doing all right. Yeah, another, yeah, another, sure. another great uh, Wait, topic is... Wait, well, hey. What's... Not, What's not, it was a troll. It was a troll. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this this topic um, brings up um, like a common sticking point in the uh, Black uh, Manosphere uh, dialogue about um, the, um, the cause of um, the situation that we're in as Black people now. Um, the Whether or not uh, Black women um, were taught to be like this and how much responsibility that they take on as an individual tends to be a sticking point for the dialogue around the like uh, the situation with uh, the, the women not wanting families. Like uh, a lot of the time we get stuck on the chicken and egg thing. Are the women like this because they choose to be or are they willing um, participants of uh, feminism uh, or were, is the issue that uh, they didn't have any like a prior example. So whenever we discuss issues like this, it's, uh, it's always very interesting because um, like um, different guys sometimes get stuck on um, what um, like uh, taking things to one extreme of like, oh, well, if they didn't have an example and an example, then that's why they're here. So the chicken and egg situation. So I was like uh, topics like this because uh, they're very uh, intellectually stimulating. Well, I appreciate you saying that, my brother. I appreciate you saying that. I just be trying to help. You know, I just be trying to help. <laughs> and shout out to Elwood Johnson. I appreciate you, my brother. He just sent the cash app in. Thank you very much, my brother. You you definitely appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it. And um, I, I think these are important because I know, um, look, my rule is everything you need to know, you're supposed to know about your 18th birthday. And, and you hold women accountable to that same measure. That measure was not just for men. That measure was for women, too. You should hold them accountable for everything by their 18th birthday. Now, can a person need to know everything they need to know and, and go through life by their 18th birthday? No. But what have I also said? Life ain't fair. It, so it's not fair that you don't know, but I still going to hold you accountable whether you know something or don't know something. And I, I think that uh, 
the no, the woman who made a comment yesterday about the fact that she didn't know or what she didn't say she but she was i think she was talking for women in general because she's a, a woman who comes around on a regular basis and i do appreciate her being here the, the thing is you know yeah i accept that there were some women who were not taught to do the right things they were taught to go get an education but the, the unfortunate part about the education a lot of black women are taught to go get an education in case you don't have a man or in case your man leaves you that's literally is what's said to a lot of black women well you need to have an education because you know what if your man leave you one day so they're taught to get an education for the very reason of not having a man well that's fine but the thing is you got to suffer the consequence of that because you went after your education but you don't have simple life skills that men value and it's it's just point blank period a woman can have a degree, but I want dinner. What do you think is more important to me between the degree and dinner? Dinner going to be more important. It's just that simple. If your degree is not going to allow you to come into the home and say, well, you know what? We going to eat out on every single meal. And, and, and I got a degree to make sure we can pay for every single meal that, that we ever eat. We going to eat out. Well, OK, well, see now. Now you're telling me how your degree can bring value to me because now you're telling me you're going to feed me off your degree. Now, if you're going to feed me off your degree, I'm not going to say it doesn't have any value at all. But but your degree compared to dinner is, is, not, is nothing to me. The woman who could just cook every day, she don't need a degree, but she's going to have value to me because she can feed me. Point blank, period. And not only can she feed me, and, and shout out to Hot Sauce because he was saying this yesterday, she can feed me better food than what I'm going to have prepared for me when I'm going out to eat all the time with all this MSG and